Okay, so we have done steady diffusion through a single layer like a slab. Then we did multiple layers. But in both of those situations, there was no reaction present. We now want to do a single layer, but in presence of reaction, with reaction, where the diffusing species, the species that is diffusing, it's also being consumed, or there is more of it being generated. So why do we care to uh, study diffusion with reaction uh, systems? Um, so let's look at some examples. So first, we want to talk about drug transport and metabolism in a tissue. So here drug containing wafers are uh, placed in brain tissue and the drug diffuses through the tissue but it also is metabolized or used up simultaneously. So it's used up simultaneously. Um, do you think it is important to know at what rate drug is coming out? Or how does the concentration, which is going to drop with distance, so up to what distance is the drug effective? Do you think these are worth knowing? Well, that's the type of problem we can, we're about to uh, look into. So to help our understanding, we bring in analogy. So here the drug uh, diffuses and also gets metabolized. And we're going to bring heat transfer analogy, heat conduction, where we are heating a metal cooking pot that also this is a metal cooking pot that also has a metal handle heat from the pot heat from here is conducting into the metal but it is simultaneously lost so heat is being conducted this way but it's also lost through the surface so conduction plus loss, whereas here it is diffusion plus loss. Do you see the analogy? So we bring in another situation in mass transfer that is analogous to the mass and heat transfer situation that we just uh, talked about in the previous slide. So shown is the cross-section of a leaf. Here is the bottom where most of the stomatal pores or stomates are located. Stomatal pores are the exchange routes for gases for the leaf. So gases can come in or go out. Carbon dioxide diffuses in through the stomata and as it diffuses it is also used up in photosynthesis so again you have diffusion with simultaneous reaction uh, or in this case consumption it is analogous to this heat transfer situation of conduction plus loss so conduction plus loss the one we just talked about in heating of a metal uh, cooking pot so back to the leaf one this rate of photosynthesis is going to depend on the rate at which co2 uh, comes in and we know photosynthesis is critical 
uh, to life. So do you think it is important to know at what rate CO2 comes in, at what rate CO2 diffuses in? So we have plenty of good reasons to study this system of diffusion plus reaction, diffusion plus consumption in this case. Before we get started in the analysis of diffusion plus reaction for a slab, let us try to get some insight into such a system uh, qualitatively. We know that for a slab without any reaction, for a slab without any reaction, with no reaction here, uh, with high concentration on one end and low concentration on the other end, uh, the steady state concentration profile is um, a straight line. Now suppose the diffusions, the diffusive species is also being consumed. So as the stuff is diffusing, it's also being used up. Okay, it's also being used up. So if that, uh, for a situation uh, that has diffusion plus reaction, is the concentration profile still linear? And then does the flux at the surface increase or decrease compared to the no reaction scenario? These are the questions we would like to answer qualitatively. Can you answer these two questions? <laughs> 